Hello and welcome to your mom's favorite channel. Today we'll be making banana ice cream. This is a pretty simple recipe. You only need a few ingredients. The first ingredient, banana. And you'll need a few of them. Make sure you get very ripe bananas. I like these freckled ones because it means they're pretty cute, but also means they are sweeter because the starches have broken down into sugar. So let's go. If you want something more than just banana flavored banana ice cream, you'll need stuff like cocoa powder, nuts, sweeteners, coconut milk, berries, fruits, or any flavoring sh So we're gonna have to peel these bananas and freeze them. But don't be a banana like me and freeze the banana with its clothes on. Because I can promise you, you won't get this one undressed. Not easily at least. So, peel the bananas. Keep the peels you can make people trip or you can make compost with it. Chop them up, try to get them roughly the same size so they'll freeze evenly. Just grab some bowls to keep things organized. Put the bananas in the bowl, try to space them out evenly. Peels for tripping and let's get peeling. You see this little part over here? That's a devil's ball sack. Take it off, get it the f out of here. Disgusting. I'm okay with these marks, but I know a lot of people don't find them very appealing. If you're still here after that, let's get chopping. Knives are not toys. Knives should be used with caution at all times. Please be careful when using knives. All right, now that everything is cut, let's get these into the freezer overnight or a couple of hours or until they're frozen solid. Depending on how many bananas you use or how small your container is, you might end up having to break these apart by hand. But that's okay, because bananas have potassium. And potassium is good for your muscles, it helps with recovery. A food processor like this works well with a large amount of bananas. But you can use a blender for smaller quantities too. And with this step you're just going to need to have a little bit of patience too. It's very noisy and you will have to stop often to scrape the sides down with a spatula or a spoon. At first it will look a bit crummy, but then we can add something like coconut cream or any plant-based milk just to help the process along a bit. Something you will find in a lot of ice cream flavors is vanilla. You can use vanilla essence or vanilla pods. I found these in the cupboard that were a bit old, so I just ground them up and tossed them right into the blender. Ice cream is generally sweet, so you might want to add a little bit of sweetness. I added some xylitol, you can add maple syrup, sugar, and then just taste as you go. If you want to make more than one flavor, just divide them up into batches. In this batch, I added about a cup of frozen blueberries and about a quarter cup of blueberries that I just toss into the microwave. You just carry on blending until everything is nice, smooth and incorporated. A squirt of fresh lemon juice also just helps to tie the flavors together. And then you do your final tasting. If everything is good, you find a container that's big enough you put that bad boy in the freezer for about two to three hours. I add a little bit of activated charcoal to a small batch just to see what happens. Turns out it goes black. Like my soul. Next batch, we're doing some chocolate. So cocoa will be your base to flavor it and then you can add any chocolate that you want to. I'm opting for this intense dark chocolate. Oh yeah, sorry, something came for you in the mail. These nuts pistachios to be more precise so after shelling them which takes forever then we'll just put them aside we take our chocolate I used about half of the slab and you just chop it up into smaller pieces we'll be adding this into the blender but also keeping some for garnishing you take one of the plain batches that you kept aside and unfortunately I realized that I made more of the blueberry flavor I wish I had it the other way around because the chocolate one was the best I added roughly around 3 teaspoons of cocoa powder just to get it to that nice deep brown chocolate color. Then you just add your sweetener, some of the chocolate, some of the pistachios. Then have a taste. This one wasn't quite sweet enough yet, so I added more sweetener. And a pinch of salt just to make it a little more decadent. But I also wanted this to be a chalk mint, so I added some fresh mint leaves. I used about 10 of them, chop them up, add them to the blender, and you put it into a container, add some chocolate and pistachios that you had left over, just mix that in, and off to the freezer we go. And just like that, a few hours have passed, 
Everything is nice and firm. Let's get scoopin' poopin'. This stuff is great for summer. It's easy to make. It's very inexpensive. Your kids will go bananas over it. This chocolate one was insanely good. I could barely taste banana. It was all mint and chocolate all the way. I think next I'll be trying this with coffee or peanut butter, cinnamon. You can add anything to this. Sky's the limit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me what your favorite combination would be in the comments and see you in the next one. Peace.